the best Epic Games launcher settings, low ping and FPS boost. You might not have chosen the best settings for starting and installing the game. The default options aren't well optimized, which could be why you're experiencing low frames per second, especially in busy parts of the game world. To improve these settings and make them optimized, follow these steps. Open the Epic Games Launcher. In the top right corner, click on it and ensure that you update it in the settings by clicking Restart and Update to get the latest version. After updating, go to the library in the top left. Find the game you want to optimize and click on it. Look for the three horizontal dots to the right, click on them and choose Options. Inside this menu, you'll see the install options with all the default settings. These steps will help you access and adjust the game's installation settings for better optimization. To start with, for the Save the World mode, uncheck it. You can save approximately 3.3GB of storage by doing this. If you only play the regular Battle Royale game mode, there's no need to have Save the World installed. Next, consider the high resolution textures. These are unnecessary unless you're playing the game on beautiful graphic settings, which include high quality textures, library reflections, and other elements for a very realistic look. If you're playing on lower graphic settings, uncheck this option. Not only will this boost your in-game frames per second, but it also will free up a significant amount of storage, nearly 9GB on your PC. Thirdly, let's look at the DirectX 12 shaders. If you use performance mode, it's a good idea to uncheck this option. However, if you do use DirectX 12 for gaming, you should have this checked because it's required to use DirectX 12. If you opt to uncheck it while in performance mode, you can gain nearly 5GB of extra storage. Lastly, there's a newer setting called Disable Cosmetic Streaming. I recommend checking this one. Your machine might display 6 or 24 gigabytes, but don't worry if it's different. It's just a display issue. This setting stops the streaming of cosmetic items as soon as you enter the game. Instead, it pre-downloads all the cosmetics so you'll see their textures right away. This can save on bandwidth, potentially lower your ping, and improve your overall connection quality. Having disabled cosmetic streaming on is well worth the storage it occupies on your PC. Once you've optimized your settings for your PC and setup, click the Apply button. Then, in the Epic Games Launcher, head to the top right corner and click on the Settings tab. Under Custom Launch Options for the specific game, you'll find three primary command lines. 1. LAN Player This command instructs the Unreal Engine not to limit client bandwidth when connecting to servers. This command is likely still effective. Two. No splash. This command is supposed to disable the splash image when loading the game, which could potentially decrease loading times. However, as of Chapter 4, it seems that this command may be outdated and doesn't prevent the splash screen from appearing. 3. Use all available cores. This command likely instructs the game to utilize all available CPU cores for improved performance. You can experiment with these commands to see which ones work best for your specific setup and game version. The command Use All Available Cores is also effective. It essentially compels the Unreal Engine to utilize all available CPU cores which can clearly enhance your frames per second. Currently, what I do is, I only include LAN Player and then Use All Available Cores in the command line and you can find these in the video description. So, that's the optimized set of launch options and installation choices for Fortnite Chapter 4. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and using my creator code in the Epic Games Store. Catch you in the next video and be sure to explore some of my other videos featured on the screen right now.